Hey everyone, I'm Sarah. And I'm Brandon. And, and this, this is, is Fish or Price Ranch. Ranch. Welcome back. I'm Sarah with Fisher Price Ranch. First off, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. So this morning I posted showing you guys that it was negative two degrees. It's still very cold. It's only in the 20s right now. Um, so we've been having a lot of problems. We haven't really been sharing much of living off grid with you guys as far as the troubles that we've had. Um, but I thought I'd take a little bit of time and share that with you guys now. So like I said, it was negative two degrees this morning. Um, I have no water. Um, our, our tank has water, but our pipes were froze. Those are now thawed, but now we're still waiting on our water pump itself to finish thawing out before we have water. So unfortunately, even once that is thawed, this has never happened, but our fifth wheel those pipes froze and so even if I can fill up my fifth wheel full of water I still don't have water um, so I need to figure out how to thaw those pipes um, because the problem is we don't have skirting for our trailer once we moved it we didn't have any skirting and we haven't really had the money to get more skirting so we're kind of at that point um, where things are getting just too difficult and stressful so we're going to be making some major changes here coming up pretty quick. I'll talk about those in a minute. Um, so also not having water. Um, all the goats' waters, all the pigs, the chickens, everybody's water is solid ice, the rabbits. So nobody has water. So it's not just us. And the problem is because we're off grid, we can't just go in the house, fill up hot water, and take it out to the animals. We don't have water. <laughs> so... It's something that we're that we're fighting a lot with and um, we're literally only like not even a week away and our windy season is going to start and then here we are in our fifth wheel and it shakes the fifth wheel so bad. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember this but last year we had, let me show you guys, our fifth wheel here was facing uh, different. It was facing this way instead of this way and the wind would hit it directly on the side because we didn't know where it would come through at this place because when we moved in it wasn't really windy and so um we've got the the fifth wheel turned but last year while it was the other way it actually lifted the fifth wheel and blew the foot out from underneath the fifth wheel and we were on three legs we almost went over um, at 1 30 in the morning during a crazy storm so we were able to get the fifth wheel moved so now the wind doesn't hit it from the side it hits it at a better angle now but it still shakes it so bad I, I do not feel comfortable in my own house um, so that's made us make some more changes um, so I'm freezing right now I'm gonna see if we got water yet but um, I'll show you guys a little bit about what we're dealing with out with the animals. I had to go out and break all the ice and get them all out of the water tubs. And um, so I'm hoping it's, it's already almost 5 o'clock at night and we still don't have water. So the sun is going to be going down really soon. It's right behind me here. Um, so I'm trying to get water as best I can before the sun goes down. I don't think we will have water in our trailer at all. Um, it's a lot easier to thaw a small, short foot and a half hose than it is to thaw um, all the pipes for the trailer. So I don't know where we're going to be at there. Um, and it's supposed to be zero degrees tonight, so it's not going to be much better. Um, but anyway, let me see if we got some water, and then I'm going to talk to you guys about some of the changes we are actually going to make. All right, so still no water. Hopefully we can get it up and going soon. Um, so anyway, here is here was our original plan. Now our original plan was that we're currently living in our fifth wheel. And then when we were ready, which we were hoping this year, we were gonna start building our house. And um, it's not gonna be a very big house. It's, I don't even know, not very big. Anyway, and then we're gonna do wraparound greenhouse on it. That'll help insulate it, but it'll also help us grow food during the winter. 
Um, so that's the plan. The problem is, is we don't have that much money right now to start building our house. But what we were going to do is once the house was done, we would move into that. We would leave the fifth wheel here and use it as a guest house. Um, not that we have that many guests, but it would be available just in case because we are way out here. We do have a lot of people that come and visit the ranch. Um, if people are out of state, they could always come and stay. No big deal. Um, but then Brandon started thinking, you know, it's kind of an eyesore. It's bright white right in the middle of our property. So, you know, and it makes sense. So then he's like, you know, once we build our house, we can move into that and then let's get rid of the fifth wheel and let's build just a little small house. So it would only be like 14 foot by, you know, 40 foot at the biggest. Um, and then it would literally just have a bedroom, a bathroom with a shower, toilet, sink, and then it would have a kitchen. And it would just be kind of an open floor plan, so it would literally be kind of a kitchen dining room all in one. And it wouldn't even really have a living room because we don't have TV. We don't sit in front of the, on the couch and eat potato chips and stuff. You know, that's just not us. Um, so we, to us, we don't need that. So it would literally just be sleeping quarters with bathroom and way to cook food. So not very big. So I had a thought is that's going to be a lot cheaper to build so it would involve moving this trailer again, but if we could do it this year after windy season, if we can move our fifth wheel and then go ahead and build that really tiny house, we could live in that, sell the trailer, which would then in turn help pay for building that house. Um, and then we actually have a house to live in. So then it's not as stressful to try and move into a house that we have to build that's gonna take you know tens of thousands of dollars. So that is kind of the sudden thought, and the problem is, you know how much we, I love our animals. Um, Brandon loves the animals too, but I don't think he's as connected to them as I am. Um, so as hard as it is, uh, we're going to cut way back, um, mainly on the goats pretty much, because we only have four pigs, and we have a lot of birds, but, you know, they pay for themselves. We have so many people buying eggs, it's ridiculous. So the birds don't really cost us anything. And, you know, the dogs and the cats protect the ranch from rodents and then other predators. So, and then the rabbits, of course, they, they pay for themselves as well. Um, so it's pretty much the goats. They are taking a lot of time and money. Not really time, but a lot of money because we're having to buy the feed. We can't grow it yet. So the thought was to sell off a bunch of goats this year and using that money to help pay off our debt and help start this little house. Um, it will be nice. It's going to be hard to see that many goats leave, but we have 88 goats right now, seven of which are still pregnant, and we start popping out more kids in just 10 days, you guys. So be prepared for more baby goats coming, lots of videos. Um, but currently, 88 goats is what's on the property. And we're going to drop all the way down to a whopping 33. Yeah, 55 goats will be leaving us. Um, and that's not including whatever kids are about to pop up. So uh, on average, if they all twin, that's 14 more kids. Um, we may keep two. We'll just wait and see what we get. But I want to keep at least a couple because they are out of Paladin. and we haven't had any kids by him yet. Um, so we'll be keeping, I would say, at least two. Um, so that would put us at 35 goats. Um, that's a drastic drop in our population of goats out there. Uh, we've had at least 45 to 50 goats at all times for the last almost two years, I guess. Um, so it will look very empty. But with that said, like I said, we'll pay off some of our debt. Um, the more debt we pay off, the less that we have to go to work for somebody else. So... Um, because the nice thing is we own everything that we have right now other than my truck and that's part of the debt. So we got to get that paid off. We got a small loan to get our solar system when we moved out here. So we got to pay off that and that's pretty much it. So it's not a lot, but it's still enough that it's, you know, kind of hurting us a bit. Um, so also the plan is with some of that money, we're going to finish putting in our uh, irrigation system and we're going to get our pastures planted. This way we could start growing our own feed for the animals. We will not have to buy hay anymore because we can cut our own. Um, so that's going to be very helpful. We want to be able to put pasture in for all the animals, um, including the rabbits, because we have a plan for the rabbits as well. Um, but right now we have enough of our 
irrigation system to do. Um, you guys have seen our property, but it'll do the chicken pen, the current buck pen, both pig pens, the first goat pasture, and it'll even get into the next goat pasture. Um, so all we're missing is the underground piping, but otherwise we have everything else to do that much. So that's going to be probably 10 acres of hay that we can grow. So that means the birds can be on pasture. They'll be able to get fresh grass, which in turn will bring in bugs. So that's their protein. And then we'll, we'll be feeding them less because they'll have their pasture. Um, same with the goats. They will be out on pasture. So we won't have to buy hay anymore. We'll probably maybe for a little while still buy like their oats and their black oil sunflower seeds. And of course their loose minerals. But that's about it. That's going to cut our feed bill so much. And then same with the pigs. Because we have Cooney Cooney pigs. They are a pasture pig. And they love fresh grass. So they will eat a lot less of their food. Not that they eat a whole lot now. But uh, we could probably even cut that in half. So they'll even eat even less. Um, and then we've also thought about raising our own animals for the dogs and the cats. So that way we don't have to buy animal food for the cats and the dogs um, with so many feet issues and, you know, it's not even a good nutritional value for them. There's, you know, it's all genetically modified food and even for people. Uh, to me, this is my opinion, I cannot trust the food industry anymore. Uh, there's just too much stuff that they're changing and altering and genetically modifying and, and all this stuff with our system that I just don't feel safe eating it. I don't feel that my animals are safe eating it. Uh, we've had too many issues with feed, you know, and so to me, I'd rather be able to grow everything that we need on this farm without having to go to the store. So that is the plan. Um, it's a lot. <laughs> um, the nice thing is, is our, you know, we've had a lot of people that have been following us for years. They absolutely love our stock. So we've got a ton of people interested in these goats. Um, it's going to be really hard to see them go, especially because... I'm going to say 95% of those goats that we're going to sell will be all ready at the same time. There's still some that we have for sale that are pregnant now, um, so they're not going to be able to go until after they wean their kids. So, um, because I don't want to sell them pregnant because they're paladin kids, and I haven't seen any of those yet, so I don't want to sell them um, at this point in time. So I want to let them wean their kids, see how they grow, kind of test paladin out a bit um, before we make any sudden decisions there. But anyway, that's what's going on. Those are the crazy changes that are going to be happening over the next two months um, because most of these kids are not ready for about seven weeks, six to seven weeks. Um, so pretty much at seven weeks from now is when everybody's going to be ready to go and we're going to start seeing a lot of goats leaving the property. Um, I've already got a lot of people that have already purchased from us contacting me again because I put, if you guys follow me on Facebook, um, I have a farm page there. If you guys haven't checked it out, go check it out, Fisher Price Ranch. Um, and, you know, so I post everything daily on there that are updated on, on the ranch and the animals. So I put a post up today mentioning that this is going to be happening in about seven weeks and I've already got a ton of people contacting me Um about goats. So I'm sure it won't take long for them all to find homes. So, um, the great thing is the Kikos are awesome. They can be used for meat, milk, cashmere, pack animals, brush control, you know, all these things. And so there's that many people out there that are different avenues that they're looking for these goats. Um, the nice thing is, is like last year we sold a ton to this, just this one couple, um, and they use them as pack goats and oh my gosh, they're the happiest goats I've ever seen. So it's really cool to see all the different ways people can use our goats. Um, I absolutely love that. So, um, I look forward to more of that going on. The good thing is, like I said, um, you know, we aren't getting rid of all of them and all we got to do is breed them once and then we're way back up there again. Um, but it's going to be hard at first. <laughs> so anyway, that is the plan. I hope you guys, uh, enjoy this. I hope you understand. And if you have any, um, advice for me, that'd be great. I always appreciate all of it. Um, I know that one of you guys have been contacting me about other ways to make money from a YouTube channel. I'm sorry. I haven't done anything with that yet. Um, I'm not very tech savvy. I figured out how to make videos and I'm sticking with that. 
Um, I know that I could do like a store and things like that. I don't know how to do that. Um, I will look into it at some point, um, but I, you know, I'm a hands-on learner, so you can't just tell me how to do it and I know how to do it. It's, you know, I'm weird. <laughs> but anyway, so we will be making more changes to our channel. Like now we're doing the short videos. I hope you guys are enjoying those. Um, and we'll be adding stuff slowly here and there. And the good thing is spring is just around the corner. We're going to start gardening. I cannot wait for that. So that's more food that we do not have to go to the store for. So anyway, thank you guys again so much for watching. And we'll see you again real soon.